Hello everyone, today we are going to see how to handle sequence related uh, issues in mathematics. First question is, examine the below sequence and find the tenth term in this series. So when we want to go there, first let's write down or the number of circles in terms of numbers. So figure 1 has one circle figure 2 has 3 circle figure 3 has sorry figure 3 has 6 circles so now we have to we have to decode this sequence and find a relationship between each of the subsequent uh, terms in this series the first one is 1 we cannot do much there but we know that the second one is actually 1 plus 2 and incorporating that in here we can say 1 plus 2 which was 3 plus 3 that gives us 6 so now when we write like this we can see that there is a pattern that is evolving here so in case if it was 4 and how do we find the number of uh, circles it has to be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so that is 6 plus 4 which should be 10 circles so this is how it is progressing and we have found out the sequence how it is progressing so now let's generate a generic term uh, let's say if the term is n how does it work then it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 it goes on up to n so that is the sequence now we need to find the tenth term but tenth term meaning we have to find out 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 so it's going to be a lot of computing in this so instead of doing the hard way there is a shortcut uh, for uh, finding the sum of all the terms in this sequence in such a case where it starts with 1 and then continues as 1 2 3 up to a certain number then in this case 10 we can write 10 times 11 divided by 2 that would be 2 times 5 is 10 and 5 times 11 is 55 so the answer is 55 how do we double check instead of going and calculating it again let's use it in a known um, sequence let's take this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 according to our logic it should be 4 times 5 by 2 so this is 2 the answer is 10 and we know this the sum of this is 10 so that proves our theory so the answer for this is 55 circles are there in the 10th term this is the same question same sequence but they are asking us to find the 100th term now we already know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 as it goes on up to 99 plus 100 so the sequence here again the formula is 100 times 101 divided by 2 so in this case 2 times 50 gives 100 and this would be 5050 I think so sorry 1 and I take the 0 separately 5050 yes that's right so it is 5050 that is the number of circles in the uh, hundredth term examine the below sequence and find the term which has 210 circles so this is exactly the opposite of what we've been doing so far so in order to find the term we don't know which term it is so let's keep that as n right and the total number of circles we always find by n times n plus 1 divided by 2 that gave us the total number of circles and that is equal to we already know the total number of circles so this is 210 circles so let's cross multiply this over here n times n plus 1 is equal to 420 and this if you op uh, open the brackets this is n square plus n but we don't want to go there because it will turn into a quadratic equation be which we are not going to solve at this point of time so we'll leave it as it is but what we know about this is n and n plus 1 they are numbers which are consequent like 10 and 11 right or 12 
and 13 this has to be one such number which gives 420 result so let's just make a guess 20 times 21 right 2022 okay we are very lucky I think the first guess came out right so the answer here is this is 420 and n is now here is 20 and n plus 1 is 21 right so the term nth term is 20 so the answer for this is 20th term has 210 circles now this is another sequence here examine the below sequence and find the 10th term okay so just as what we did earlier we are going to draw a table and record the values here so the figure number one had say four circles figure number two has six circles figure number three has three four five six, seven eight eight now we can actually try and figure out what is the series that is happening here one way of doing it is I can say 4 4 plus 2 and 4 plus 2 plus 2 this is one way of looking at it that is correct as well another way of looking at it is I can say this is 2 plus 2 this is 2 plus 2 plus 2 and this is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 right so that is another way of looking at it now let's look at which is convenient which is uh, which gives us a generic term that is simple to use in this case the nth term would be 4 plus see if you look at here there is 4 plus 0 here and 4 plus 1 times 2 is in the second term and 4 plus 2 times 2 is in the third uh, figure so here if you if go on like this then we will get n minus 1 times 2 that is the nth term here now let's see what we get here this is 2 plus 2 is first figure has 2 plus 2 and second figure has 2 plus 2 plus 2 and third figure has 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so how many times 2's are here 4 times 2 here 2 times 2 3 2 times 3 times 2 and 4 times 2 but that is always 1 plus the figure number so in this case it will be n plus 1 times 2 so we could use either of these but I'm just going to use this to because it looks simpler now sequence and find the tenth term so the tenth term is going to be let's say 10th term is going to be n plus 1 10 plus 1 times 2 so that would be 11 times 2 and it should have 22 circles it says find the 50th term the what we found out is n sorry. the formula that we used is n plus 1 times 2 so in this case if it is 50th term this is 50 plus 1 times 2 so 51 times 2 so the answer is 102 so there will be 102 circles in the 50th term now it's again the inverse of what we've been doing so far the term which has 62 circles so we can say that it is n plus 1 times 2 is equal to 62 and n plus 1 is going to be 62 divided by 2 which is 31 so n plus 1 is equal to 31 and n is equal to 31 minus 1 which is equal to 30 so the 30th term will have 62 cycles sorry circles <laughs> all right so i hope you enjoyed uh, watching this if you have any feedback please do uh, put it in the comment section though so i can improve myself thank you very much have a great day bye